next i am moving into the second module global uh, hr after that i am moving into options management so uh, the client will ask you let me interviewer tell me uh, options management module what exactly you did so we have to say that in options management module uh, we have configured options plans and options types options reasons options certifications and options uh, conversion rates and also the recurring periods accrual periods and derived factors and eligibility profile and this all we did and also we have defined couple of fast formulas to uh, enroll the employee plan options plan enrollment and as well as for uh, options vesting period this all then they will come up with okay tell me how many plans you have created so maybe four to five plans what type of plans you have created how many types of options plans you have so total uh, six types of options plans we have accrual qualification no entitlement compensation donation com uh, donation agreement total six so which plans you have created so we can say three plans we have created regular accrual plan is mandatory every company will configure accrual plans for vacations and all two qualification like maternity leave paternity leave and uh, some uh, sickness like illness uh, long uh, long leave for the hospitalization type of things and the no entitlements comp of and marriage leaves this type of things comes under this particular area so okay so this is uh, it comes as an uh, it comes as uh, options plan types then what what is options type pattern uh, means when employee is applying for an uh, leave uh, he is supposed to select options type right what are different types of patterns we have so we have the patterns called uh, like you know generic options and uh, as well as the we have like childbirth and we have illness or injury this this type of types we have depends on that we'll configure it how will you integrate the options management module with the payroll module so while creating an options plan there is a checkbox integration with the payroll and you are supposed to choose the options element so that whenever we run the options management process this options details will be exported into the payroll module it will be exported into the payroll module so that that's where the things comes into the picture okay so then the next question is uh, obviously they'll ask you <coughs> payroll integration with options management Okay. Here you are. Fine. Next, in options management module, uh, they will come up with uh, different options while creating an options plan a lot of options we have discussed what are that options for example what is ceiling rule what is uh, carry forward carry over what is uh, eligibility profile what is derived factor okay so tell me what are the tabs we have in eligibility profile like personal tab employment tab derived factor and then we have the options called uh, user defined type then uh, how you will define a maternity leave qualification plan how you can configure so what are the eligibility profiles you will configure then what is your uh, leave plans like accrual methods accrual method means front loaded and uh, incremental front loaded means all the leaves will be allocated to the employee incremental means every every month that uh, accruals will be added to our uh, leaves okay then they'll come up with like uh, can we add multiple plans to the type yes we can add multiple plans to the type and we based on the legislation it will work and we are going to have the options uh, options plans uh, and integration 
okay when we are defining an options plan uh, with the type what you will include so while defining an options type will include the plan reason certifications display items minimum minimum uh, accruals means minimum leaves allowed maximum leaves allowed and partially leaves allowed display items approval process this all we will be configuring while working with the options type while working with the options type so what are the processes we have process is nothing but a programs while while working with options management you are supposed to run those uh, processes so that what happened uh, it will go for update so for example options plan you have created so there are 1000 employees how will you assign your options plan to the employees generally uh, we might have done in our training go to person management set employee and add the add the plan but i can't go for with all 1000 people right then we are supposed to go for we are supposed to go for uh, this options here we are supposed to go for uh, having the processes here it is then uh, you can see that spreadsheet they may ask you uh, can you go for load the data by using the spreadsheet data loaders yes we can go for loading here are the steps options what are the things you can go for upload this is very important so records can be uploaded plans types categories reasons and certifications so this you can see options plan types and all our uh, initiate spreadsheet data loaders it can be desktop integration for so we might have done the uh, spreadsheet data loader in uh, different options same way we can do that so value sites lookups they may not expect from here so and formulas as i told uh, uh, two there are some 15 to 20 formulas so but uh, two three formulas we can expect uh, we can explain in the interviews so we discussed already in our training uh, mainly two formulas one is uh, options plan enrollment another one is a vesting period so the requirement is uh, when employee is uh, joined employers joined in the organization my client is telling me that based on the employee job position and legal employer means three conditions based on the job position and legal employer they would like to have the different unit of measurement and different number of units like if it is for don't tell us1 legal entity us2 because those are uh, just for testing purpose for example you will say that tata company you have implemented whatever client name you mentioned in your resume so they'll ask you like uh, for example tata is there tata financials uh, legal entity so which is going to have mainly of the you know 30 calendar days for the managers who are working as finance manager position for rest of the people 90 days like that the requirement has came and we configured same enrollment period and vesting period so these all questions uh, they'll ask you from the options management point of view is clear everybody any doubts you have from the options management types of plans and all great so that is our second module so what we have discussed about options management